Hi everyone, my name is Molly LeBlanc and I'm the Species at Risk and Biodiversity Team Lead at Coastal Action, an environmental NGO on the south shore of Nova Scotia. Today I'm going to highlight some of the work that we do here at Coastal Action around aquatic invasive species this time of year. Each year we remove fish from the Petite Riviere watershed using a variety of methods as a means of protecting native fish species and in particular the critically endangered Atlantic whitefish. Atlantic whitefish is endemic to Nova Scotia and currently only found in three lakes on the south shore. Although their population was once anadromous, as a result of dams and fish passage barriers, the species became landlocked. They are now thought to complete their life cycle in the fresh water system of the Petite. Invasive chain pickerel and smallmouth bass are two of the main threats to the species, as they are with so many native fish in our province. Here are some of the ways we continue to lower the population and remove invasives from this critical whitefish habitat. Through our partnership with DFO, Coastal Action staff conduct nightly boat electrofishing in the late summer and early fall. Similar to backpack electrofishing, the boat produces an electric current which stuns fish and allows capture. A live well in the center of the boat holds the fish until processing. Invasives are removed from the lake while native fish are measured and returned unharmed. By using the boat, we are able to target all size ranges of invasive fish in this important whitefish habitat. Hi, I'm Kaylee McLeod and I'm a Senior Species at Risk and Biodiversity Field Technician with Coastal Action. Today we're out on Malipskit Lake as part of our Atlantic Whitefish Project. With this, we're doing scientific angling to remove invasive species. We're looking at chain pickerel and smallmouth bass. And so this lake is divided into 24 separate sections, which are first electrofished using the electrofishing boat. And then in the following days, we come and scientific angle the same sites. Averaging about one to five fish a day, and so far we've had 19 days out on the water. We often conduct dissections to evaluate the stomach content of invasive fish. The most common prey item is freshwater invertebrates. However, we have also found native fish, other chain pickerel, frogs, toads, mice, voles, snakes, and hatchling turtles, including these two snapping turtle hatchlings, which are found alive and then released. Finally, our most recent method of invasive removal is our new floating light traps. These are currently being tested as a possible method to capture young of the year chain pickerel. All right, so these traps are um, uh, light traps, light sources, this uh, LED flashlight on the top. Um, so this flashlight mm -hmm. shines a light down through the trap and uh, any photosensitive uh, fish or invertebrates will be attracted to this trap. And um, there's some styrofoam on the top so that it floats and the fish come in to the, the entrances of this four-leaf clover pattern. And then they're trapped within the bottom tray which is held together by some piping. And uh, these traps are targeting uh, young of the year chain pickerel and uh, smallmouth bass in, um, in right now in Melipsigate Lake, which is a part of the Petite Riviere system. So we'll check this trap. So we take the piping off and we lift the trap off of the bottom tray, and this will give us um, whatever the trap has caught over the last two nights. Uh, so it looks like a lot of inverts. You can see some Daphnia that is kind of clouding up the water. I don't see any fish. Um, these traps were set out in the spring of, of uh, 2020 as well and, mm -hmm. and uh, 
taught both juvenile uh, chain pick roll as well as juvenile small move box. While out a couple weeks ago, our crew was surprised to capture this larval chain pickerel. This could be evidence of a second spawning event in late summer or early fall, in addition to the typical spawning time in early spring. Two separate spawning events would have major implications for assessing the growth rate and spread of the chain pickerel population across the province. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website or contact me at molly at coastalaction.org. You can also follow Coastal Action on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube.